In this video, we will show you how to set up your Garmin Approach R10 golf device. First, we will begin by pairing your Approach R10 device with your compatible smartphone. To do this, you will need to download the Garmin Golf app on your smartphone. In this video, we will be using an Apple iPhone, but the process is similar on Android devices. Next, we'll cover the outdoor setup process and ways to overcome challenges and improve your experience. Whether you are hitting into a net or at a driving range, you first need to make sure you are confident taking a full swing in your hitting space. If not, you could see shorter distances or inaccurate metrics. A larger space may be necessary. Your hitting space or mat will need to be a minimum of two feet long by two feet wide. However, for the best experience, we recommend a mat size large enough for you to stand on and hit the ball on the same level. When using an impact screen or net, make sure the ball is at least eight feet away. Using a longer distance could improve accuracy. With our T location set, you can now place the Approach R10 device on the ground between six and eight feet behind the mat location. Our recommended position is seven feet behind the ball. Use the red line on the top of the Approach R10 device to align the ball to your target. To help with alignment, you could also lay down a golf club between the alignment line and tee. Now, safely position your golf bag behind or next to your Approach R10 to quickly view your shots of data on your smartphone. Now we're ready to take some swings. Simply open the Garmin Golf app and select a SIM session. To learn more about the available SIM features, follow the link now. Depending on your setup or environment, you may experience inaccuracies. See our troubleshooting radar features of the Approach R10 in the description for more help. And that's it. Thanks for watching. If you need additional help, visit us at support.garmin.com.